Let us look at what are the predominant factors which govern the digestion and assimilation of food. So, that is captured in the uh, in the concept called ashta ahar vidhi vishesh, ashta meaning eight, ahar is food, vidhi means method, vishesh means specific method. So, what are those factors? Those factors are prakriti, karan, samyog, rashi, desh, kal, upayog, samastha and upayokta. Prakriti, what is the quality and characteristic of food? Karan, how the food is being processed? Samyog, how the combination or mixing is done? Rashi, in how much quantity that food is taken? Desh, in which desh, in which habitat that food is used or consumed? Kal, what time of the day? what kind of the year that food is taken. Upayog samstha, classical Ayurvedic rules of eating, how to set, when to use water, when to drink water, uh, uh, what should be followed by what. There is an excellent beautiful protocol given in Ayurveda about what to eat, how to eat in one sitting that is Upayog samstha. Upayogta, the person who takes the food because the person also has its individual agency, it, its own capability. So, these are the eight factors to be considered while taking food. You can imagine, now you can see that how evolved the food science has been, the ahar vigyan food science has been in the yogic tradition and in the ayurvedic tradition. So, first is prakriti. Uh, we discuss there are uh, predominantly three types of vikritis or prakriti found and all of us have all three having one or two dominant over other one or two. Uh, these are kaf, vat and pitta. Pitta is considered to be the combination of fire and water. Vat is the combination of akash, the ether and air. Kaf is predominantly the combination of water and earth. So, kaf governs the structure of body. Uh, vat is like wind, it is light, cool, dry, mobile. So, it governs the uh, movements um, uh, including uh, uh, neurotransmitters. Pith is hot, sharp, penetrating, volatile and oily and this governs the digestion system. So, vat, pith, kaf, prakriti or vikriti, they decide the kind of food pe person should take up. Uh, you might recall that you all were given uh, an assessment, you were asked to take the assessment on this prakriti and if you have taken that, you might be having some idea what is predominant vikriti in your body and mind. So, vata people choose warm nourishing cooked food that is moist, mildly spiced, cooked with oil so that it lubricating and it is lubricating and comforting. So, vata people choose that kind of food. Uh, the diet of for the vata people must include fresh or cooked fruit, uh, grains, dairy that are sweet in taste, sour food like lemons and limes and salty food uh, that are uh, warming and moistening. Uh, one with the vata dosh should drink warm teas regularly, preferably non-caffeinated tea and herbal teas are great for the vata dosha, people with the vata dosh. People with the pitta dosh. They need dairy products such as fresh milk, cottage cheese, cream cheese or fresh goat cheese and th these are the soothing to pitta. But they must avoid mixing dairy and fruit. Uh, pitta predominant people consume foods that have taste that are sweet, uh, uh, dairy, uh, fresh fruit, vegetable, whole grain. Uh, not the sh refined sugar, but sweet naturally sweet food. Bitter means all green except spinach, astringent legumes, apples, potatoes. Uh, uh, pitta dosha can enjoy tenderly on tea uh, regularly to cool and soothe themselves. 
people suffering from kapha dosha. So, they need to consume the food which taste uh, uh, that are balancing to kapha are fresh and dried ginger, onions and peppers that are pungent in nature and all greens and all vegetables bitter in nature and astringent like legumes or except soya and dried food that is good for the people suffering from kapha dosha. Uh, kapha dosha uh, must choose food that are dry, light and warm and they can enjoy abundant vegetable herbs and spices. Then comes a transformation of food what Ayurveda says about it. Ayurveda says that transformation of food into energy is based on optimum heat energy that is Ushma, Ushma Pachati. The role of Ushma is to digest. Optimum moment, uh, moment uh, in of the different parts, different parts of the uh, intestine, Vayu pra Prakarshati that uh, so, vayu causes the movement in the different parts of the intestine. Mucus loosens, kleda is called mucus and that gives sathilya, uh, means looseness. Lubrication gentles uh, and uh, lubrication is given by uh, ghee, lubrication is also uh, generated by the body itself. So, sneho mardavam gyanayati that which does the lubrication, sufficient time, kal pariman must be followed until uh, one diet is out of the system, the next full diet should not be taken. Combination of above, some, some yoga of all these. So the, so, the conversion of the food into energy happens with optimum heat energy, optimum moment, mucus, lubrication, sufficient time and combination of all these. What are the qualities of right food? So, right food is Agni Rakshane Aharaha that which enhances Oj, Tej and Pran. We are going to discuss what is Oj, Tej and Pran. Aharasya Mahabhesha Jatvam, Ahar is also like a medicine. Ahar must be taken according to the suitability, Pathya Apathya Vichar. So, the quality, a good quality food means that is taken after sufficient thoughts about what should be taken, what should not be taken. Ritu Samya Ahar, the food which is according to the season. Aharasya dehasya api pancha bhautiktavyam means five elemental nature of ahar and deh. So, deh, the body is made up of five elements, ahar is also made up of five element. There has to be a right equilibrium of these elements in ahar and these elements in the body. Dincharyam bhojanasya kala and uh, according to the daily routine. So, these are the qualities of right food. There are few other qualities as well given in great detail on this uh, uh, website of dharmaviki.org. Dharmaviki.org is our own website. This is uh, development of uh, one of the IIT Bombay research project and uh, you will see lot of these concepts are given in great detail. So, you can use this website as like notes for many of the topics and the topics which are well developed there, very much very well presented there in the Dharma Wiki. Uh, uh, we have also given the reference behind those topic on those slides of the reference of that particular page of Dharma Wiki. 